again everyone, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my How to Kill a Kit with Style for April 2022 kit reveal. And I'm cheating. Um, I have, I went through like all my kits that I haven't really even touched and I thought, hmm, <laughs> I'm going to pretty much create a whole album from our Dykeman family day where we went to dinner and blues game with the whole family. Um, so here are all the photos. Yeah, I know, right? Here are all the photos <laughs> that we took in one day. A whole bunch of uh, fun things, right? So I'm going to incorporate some pocket pages and all kinds of fun things. We're going to do a 12 by 12 album because that's what I do. I think, yes, it, yes, I am. That's what we're going to do. Um, but I'm going to use... This, <laughs> this collection, I'm going to use the Amy Tangerine Brave and Bold, and that is simply because I have had it for, I don't know, like a year? I feel like I bought it mid last year. This came out in 2020, so I've had it for over a year and I've yet to use it. And I know I was all about stash busting and stuff, but I cheated and I put my kit together with a collection. Um... And if I can pick anything else up out through the month, I will. But I feel like this will give me a good basis and I won't have to do the crazy more is more. Um, and I'm just going to keep everything pretty simple because I would like to get all those pages or the, all those layouts into one album. Um, you know, like special events and stuff like that. I like to create special little albums for that. So uh, you will see that I had actually used this on March 31st for Maggie Bethel's eight, you, eight year YouTube anniversary because I wanted to start scrapbooking the blues pictures, so I just pulled it in early, but I have not used anything yet. <laughs> I'm filming this before I actually create the layout. So basically, let's just go over what we have here, right? I have the Brave and Bold 12 by 12 paper pad, which the fun thing about the paper pads is we have some lovely cut-aparts, but they're single-sided. So if I don't like one of these, or to be honest, may not be able to use two of these cut aparts, but I can use the backside as my white cardstock. So I will be able to incorporate everything for that album will come from this because, I mean, this is a lot of paper, right? So we've got a whole bunch of fun things, another cut apart to get, and I will be cutting all of these apart to get more die cuts. You will see that I am lacking in that area a little bit. The zebra paper, I am not going to use that, but I'm going to use the back as white cardstock. I just love the bright, bold colors. And just because we're going to a blues game doesn't mean I have to do it like all, you know, crazy. I want to use the fun colors and just add the photos in there. So I'm sure you guys have seen this, and if not, it's you know if you haven't, it's probably a while ago. This is just a bit of a refresher. We have another cut apart here, which is also I'm, it's going to be great for the cut apart crazy. And I think it's a repeat. No, it's not. And then we have the butterflies. I am going to, I guess you know what I need to do as well. I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Whoa. So what we're going to do is we are going to take these sheets out because I have to cut these apart. Since I'm filming this early, I will have time to get all of this cut apart before... Um, before the beginning of the month because I'm filming this and it's still March. So I do want to come in and just grab all of the cut apart sheets that we had things on. And then I will have a whole bunch of die cuts and I won't have to cut them apart as I'm going because no one, that's not fun. You guys know it's not fun. So all I'm doing is I'm pulling out let's see, where did we end? Right here. I'm just pulling out the ones that I can fussy cuts. I believe that I'm even going to fussy cut the hearts. And probably not going to get more than one out of that. But I will definitely be able to use all these fun labels. And I don't want to cut small flowers. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't. But can go ahead and cut this one out, right? And I'm just pulling them all from the front. So I can get some florals out of that one. Let's see. 
lot of beautiful backgrounds in here. I am going to cut this one twice because I actually find that I like that one a lot better than I do this one. But, hmm. You know, we should just... Oh, I'm having a hard time deciding. I think we should just pull it. Just going to pull it. Why not? Let's do it. Because, you know, I don't save scraps anyway. So, let's see, cut that one out as well. Not so much this one because it's not solid flowers. I will also do this one. I don't want to cut the small flowers because I'm lazy. Okay, now here is a sheet here. I like that side. So I am not going to fussy cut this because I already have two of them over there. So I'm going to save this to use. And this came in a collection kit at some point. So I've got all of these guys that I will sit and fussy cut. I just need to take that, that off. So we have this that I will fussy cut while watching TV with the hubs. I also have somehow the project pad. Okay, so the project pad comes with fun stickers, so we also will have these. They are thinner, so I will just, you know, if I don't want to use them at that thickness, I can just put them on some cardstock. We also have the fun design, um, like, what do they call it? Specialty paper. So I already have one of these. I feel like I should pull both of those. Did I? Did I pull both of those? I feel like I did. This is like the long, there's one, and, oh I didn't, I need to pull both of those because I'm not going to need two sets of, there's so many sheets I don't need to try to save this for something, like I just want to fussy cut that, so, definitely, but, this one has said sort of a sheen on it, so I will leave this and maybe we'll leave it for something. If I decide I want to fussy cut it, I can always fussy cut it. This is every, the piece of, this is all the papers in the project pad. I will not cut those butterflies up. And then we have the cardstock, so I also have cardstock options. So we've got black, like a cream, a pink, a blue, a green. A teal, another green, lime, orange, red, and pink. So I will be able to incorporate those in as well. Along with all the items that I'm going to fussy cut. I have the Stories Alpha. So that's stickers. That'll be fun to create my titles with. I also have the Puffy stickers. And I have the um, Be Bold uh, Foam Thicker stickers. So that's good. I've got the die cuts, and here's everything that is in that pack. So some of them I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, like the high five, that's a little bit out of my elm. Elements, not elm. <laughs> I have seven vinyl stickers. Here are all the ones that are in there. I do have a good layout for the girl gang. And then I have the Amy Tangerine sticker book. So we have more alphas, some fun flowers, and a whole bunch of awesome stickers. So that is my How to Kill a Kit with Style for April. I did kind of cheat, but it's okay because I feel like I can use this up with scrapbooking all of these photos and then we'll just have to figure something out for May. I'm not real sure <laughs> what to do. And then June is going to be our vacation, so all of my current kits I'm going to have to like beef up and some of these, anything left with this, I think I will put in there as well because it's fun, bright, bold, bold vibrant colors. But that's it, you guys. So a wish me luck on getting all of these scrapped. If I don't throughout the month, this will be my kit for May as well because I want to keep the album centralized to this collection. And I feel like I know there's a lot of picture there, but I am going to incorporate pocket pages um, at least because here's kind of what we've got going on. Like we do have some that are just a few pictures, if not one, but then you have like, you know, some of these there's double pictures, 
but then there are some singles that we will do, and then we took like a billion pictures of just me and Robbie and fun things like that and the family. So I'll be able to get pocket pages and more than just this is not going to be one photo per layout. We are going to do this album as a multi-photo layout for sure. Um, learned my lesson on my 2021 vacation, but it was so much fun to scrapbook everything that I just totally kept doing it. And I got to put those away, but I think we're going to be at four albums for reals. All right, so that's going to do it, you guys. Do not forget to check everyone else out as they pop in with their April 2022 kit reveals. Remember to always be kind. There are will be affiliate links down below. Remember, if you click on those, I do get a portion of the, of the sale as a commission. It costs you nothing. It just helps to support my channel. And that is it. Thank you, guys, and I will see you later with another video. Bye.